All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight for allowing me to teach. We thank you tonight, Father Yahuwah, for allowing me to be here. We thank you for coming through tonight for your people. Give me an anointing to teach, to dissect, to explain the scripture and the words that you're giving me tonight for your people. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name we pray. Hallelujah. So be it. Tonight, I'm going to talk about a subject that every one of us is familiar with. We're facing it right now. You can see it throughout the land. You can see it being talked about. You can, you can feel it throughout the land. You can feel uh, uh, the intensity of this spirit. And this spirit tonight we're talking about is the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear. Yahuwah was speaking to me strong has been speaking to me strong since Friday about this spirit of fear. And I was trying to find a way to get in to teach about the spirit of fear. And so here I am tonight. I'm going to go through a few scriptures. I'm going to talk to you about this spirit of fear. It's real. It's relevant. It's the times that we're living in. But we, as the people of Yah, have no need to fear about what's going on in the land because there will be a rescue of Yahuwah's people. He will get us away from this place. He will get us out of this land. But while we're in here, we need to practice walking by faith and not by sight. In such a way, not for things, not for possession, but for our mind's sake, for our physical sake. We need to practice walking by faith. That means adhering to the word like we never have before. So let's get into the word. Tonight, I'm going to read from 2 Timothy 1 and 7. I'm going to be looking down. I'm going to be looking at paper, my notes, but I'll be going back and forth looking into the camera. So please bear with me. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, But Yahuwah has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So if Yah is not giving us this spirit called fear, who's giving this spirit? Who's pushing this spirit in the land? It's none other than HaSatan himself. And he's utilizing his people. Yes, he has people. He has his crew. He has his people that are out there pushing this fear throughout the land in such a way that it's overwhelming many people. They're dying of heart attacks. They're dying of strokes. They're leaving the earth too early. But there's a scripture in Luke, the 21st chapter, the 26th verse, that men's hearts felling them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be uh, shaken. Yah told us in his word that the whole earth would be shaken. He's going to shake things uh, uh, in this last day. He's going to shake things in this last hour. Why? Because he's getting us ready and getting us prepared to leave this place going into the second exodus. The Bible said that the whole earth is trembling and groaning, awaiting the manifestations of the sons of Yah. That's talking about us, the Hebrew Israelites, and the foreigners that are going to uh, come along with us on our journey back to uh, Jerusalem. So here we are tonight talking about what's happening in the land. Can't you see this fear? Can't you see them magnifying this fear? Can't you see them using this one thing, this one uh, 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 incident that's taking place in the land today. There's one thing they're using. They're going over and over. They put, got it on TV. They got it on commercials. They got it all posted all over this land. They got it everywhere. It's all over the world getting people scared, getting people uh, afraid to run right into their plan, to run right into what they want you to run into so you can end up taking what they call an immune shot which is not an immune shot. It's a serum that they have come up with a concoction to destroy mankind or to get tags on us so they can keep an eye on us and keep keep up with us as we go throughout our daily walk. Now watch this. The Bible says, for Yahuwah has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. What is fear? In the Greek, the word fear means the alea, the alea, which means timidity, fearfulness cowardness. Yahuwah told us never to be cowards, 
He said, don't be a coward. He said, but be very courageous. That's what got our ancestors in trouble uh, when they were over in the, going towards the promised land. They began to fear when Yah had picked out the 12 spies to go into the land. Uh, they began to fear they couldn't see uh, their way past what they saw in front of them, which were the giants. When they had just seen Yah destroy 10 of the Egyptian gods, all of those miracles that Yah did was going against every god. The, the Egyptians had over 110 gods, 101 to 110 gods, and make that plain, that he went after. He only destroyed six of the main, ten, excuse me, 10 of the main gods. That's what he was after. He went after the stronghold gods, the one that were weighing down on his people. So he went after those 10. That's why he did those 10 miracles to show his people that he was in charge, he was in control. And so when they got out into the wilderness, they began to murmur and complain because they couldn't see a way out of no way in which Yah had already just made a way out of no way. And so Yah got upset with his people. And most of them end up dying where? In the wilderness. Now listen at this. So fear, timidity, fearfulness should not be named among Yahuwah's people. We shouldn't be walking in fear. We got, the Bible said we have power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. No thing shall by any means hurt us. The Bible says that um, no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment shall be what? Condemned. For this is the heritage of the servants of Yahuwah and their righteousness is of me. Yah said, I have given you power over the enemy. You shouldn't be walking around in fear. I've given you power and authority over the enemy. Open your mouth. Come against that enemy in Yahushua Hamashiach's name. I gave you power. He said, I gave you power to bind the enemy. To bind the enemy. Whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound where? In heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Yahushua gave us a great example of how he cursed that fig tree when he opened his mouth when there were no figs on the tree. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It was bloomed. It was blossoming, blossoming as though it had some figs, but there were no figs on the tree. And at that time, Yahushua was hungry as he walked down that road. So when he got to that tree and that tree was boasting that it had fruit, he saw no fruit and he was hungry. He cursed that tree. And what happened? The next time they saw that tree, it was dried up. Why? Because there's power and authority in that name. Hallelujah. So we, we shouldn't be afraid of that enemy. What, we afraid, what are we afraid for? Afraid of what? We got power over the enemy. Now, he said, I, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. What power? Deutimus power, which means strength, power, and ability. I gave you deutimus. I gave you authority over the enemy. The Bible said, don't be subject because the enemy is subject unto you. Don't be jumping up and down because the enemy is subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. That's why you rejoice because your name uh, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, not because you're walking around, yeah, I got power over the enemy, I got power over Ha Satan. No, you praise Yah that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, but then you also operate in that power that he gave you to stay free from uh, the traps of the enemy, to stay free from every bondage, to stay free from every shackle. Listen, listen, you have to understand, why would Yah give such power to his people? Because he knew the times that we're going to be living in. He knew the things that we're going to be facing. And on this earth, you need a supernatural power to help you make it through. I don't care what nobody thinks. I don't care what they're saying. We need Yahuwah's power to make it through. Are you hearing me today? We need his power to make it through. So uh, he's given us his Ruach Hakan that's to live on the inside of us. To comfort, to aid, to guide, to support, to bring back things to our remembrance to lead and guide us into all truth, to seal us until the day of redemption. Why is he there if we're not going to occupy, uh, utilize him when he's occupying us? He the one leading and guide you into all truth. He the one that directs your path. He gives you what to pray when you don't know what to pray. Are you hearing me? You got the power. Start utilizing it. Stop sitting back saying, oh, I'm weak. I'm going through this. No, you don't have the spirit of fear. You got power loving of a sound mind. This may be too strong and heavy for some that don't see this or can't see this, but you need to open your eyes and wake up and realize power going to have to meet up against power. You're fighting against satanic forces. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You are not my enemy. Nobody in the flesh is my, my enemy. 
Uh, so we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness where? And high places. You got people that are in high places. You got spirits uh, 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 that are occupying this land. Turn the thing off. So we are in a we are in a crazy place right now, and we need to know these things. Why? Because Yah want us to fulfill our destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you. So He's not giving us spirit of fear, but a power and of love. What love? The Bible says the, the Hebrew word for love is Ahaba, which means the Yahuwah type of love, the never failing love, the endless love, the everlasting love. Now, we know they use a lot of Greek words in the uh, uh, the New Testament, so they, they use the uh, word like agape love, which means unconditional love. There are four types of love they use in the Greek, which is storge love, which is empathy, uh, uh, empathy, bonding type love, a uh, phileo love, which means a friendship type love, Eros love, which is a romantic love, and agape love, which is unconditional and a sacrificial love. But we're talking about that Ahaba love, that eternal love. He gave you the love that will keep you, a love that will hold you, a love that will strengthen you, his love. Are you hearing me? The Bible said that perfect love, here it is, cast out what? Fears. Perfect love cast out fear. There are many of, of Yahuwah's people that don't want to hear this type of teaching, they think this type of teaching is relegated to some type of Christian preacher. No, this is biblical. This is the word of Yah. You need to know these things, practical living. Look, there's more in the word than just preaching about the slave ships, who you are as Hebrew Israelites. And we need to know those things. We need to know the feast days. You need to know every one of those things. You need to know how to walk those things out and understand and comprehend those things. But you also need to know how to walk in practicality, how to practice this thing, how to wake up when you're going through a hardship and know how to pray your way through, knowing how to wake up and fight your way through without giving up. See, y'all say, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Are you hearing me? So yes, we have to know those things that I just mentioned, but you have to know how to walk this walk out practical. We walk by faith and not by sight. It ain't what you see is what you believe. He said, I gave you a power, love, and of a sound mind. What's a sound mind? A sound mind in the Greek is soronias. Soroniasmus means to have self-control. What is a part of the fruit of the spirit? One of the part of the fruit of the spirit is self-control, moderation, and admonishing, a calling to a sound mind to have self-control. You need to have self-control. People don't want to talk about that. We, we act as though uh, we just want to uh, just live this life uh, walking with Yah and not having the self-control. We don't need self-control. We don't need to walk holy. We don't need to walk in righteousness. No, you need to walk in those things. That's a part of your living too, a righteous and a set-apart life. Be ye perfect, mature, as I am perfect and mature. That was the teaching. You have to walk in these things. Watch this. The word fear is mentioned over 385 times in the New and the Old Testament. The word fear not is mentioned 144 times. The words no fear is mentioned 20 times. Are you hearing me? So this word fear is throughout the Bible. It's letting you know that Yah does not want us and does not expect us to walk in that arena of fear. We need to get past that. So let me tell you right now, the way things are going out with the television, with the movies, they're generating and they're promoting fear at a level that I've never seen before. They are pushing it so strong and they're blatantly doing it in our faces. But we have to be able to be strong enough and not allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by fear. The Bible said my people are what? Destroyed for lack of knowledge. And a lot of our people don't want to know stuff like this. They think they already got it. The next thing you know, you see them going crazy. You see them losing their mind. I'm being overwhelmed. I'm being attacked. Well, the scripture is in there. Uh, in, is in the Bible that tells you how to overcome these attacks. How do you overcome these attacks? You have to run to the word. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of what? The Almighty. The Bible said there is no fear in love. Here it is. Who is love? Yahuwah is love. But perfect love casts out fear. So these scriptures are relevant. 
Well, if you like it or not, these scriptures are relevant. You need to know how to practice and operate in these scriptures. Scriptures. If I took a survey and I took a poll of many of y'all's people right now that are living out here, and I asked them questions like, have you ever had a panic attack? Have you ever had an anxiety attack? Have you ever had a stress attack? When bills are due, when your children are going through, when family members are going through. So we don't need to talk about those things. We just need to talk about uh, the things that make everybody uh, happy and uh, make everybody know, uh, understand and comprehend that we're Hebrews. That's it. We, we're just Hebrews. Yeah. But Hebrews have to live this life. You have to walk this life out. Look what the Bible says. The enemy cometh not but for the steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Yahuwah said, I came to give you what? Life. And life more abundantly. You need to know how to walk this thing out. Hallelujah. And many people are running from these teachings and they don't need to run from them. You, at the times we're living in right now, hear me. You need to lock yourself into Yah like never before. You need to know scriptures like, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him because he trusts in him. Trust in Yahuwah forever, for Yah Yahuwah is everlasting strength. You need to know scriptures like, Rejoice in Yah forever. And again, I say rejoice. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He also said, and again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation, now this is part of self-control, let your moderation be known unto men. Elohim is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto Yah, and the peace, the shalom of Yah, that pass all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind by Hamashiach. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That will guard your heart from having heart attacks, that will guard your mind from having strokes, having a nervous breakdown, going crazy. You and I need to know this stuff. And if you don't get a hold to this spirit called fear, it will take us out. The spirit of fear will take you out. Are you hearing me? The spirit of fear can take you out. And I guarantee you this message came from y'all. And you're going to see uh, later on as people begin to watch this teaching that many are going to confirm that the spirit of fear has been attacking them. And they're facing many things. I know that there's many that don't believe in the New Testament. There's many that don't believe uh, in Hamashiach. And I got that. That's on them. That's not me. I know what I believe. And let me tell you something right now. I'm preaching the whole Bible. I'm preaching the whole role. I teach about the feast days. I teach about the slave ships. I teach about the land of our captivity. I teach about Babylon. I'm going to teach about the wilderness. I'm going to teach about all those things. But we need to be practical. We need to know how to live this thing. Because you're not going to tell me when your bill is due, when somebody in your house is sick or going through a hard time, that you're going to go back and start talking about, well, let me read about the slave ships. What is that going to do for you? Yeah, you need to know that that's who you are. And when you came from how we got here, that's that's uh, self-explanatory. But when you're going through a hard time, you need to know that y'all can bring you out. And you need to know some scripture that can help you to stand. And another thing we need to do, we need to get past people about what people think about us, how they feel about us. Man, forget about what people think. You have to be careful of being afraid of what people think about you. Stop being afraid of folks. You get past people Y'all can take you somewhere. You have to get past what people think. And I'm telling you, and when y'all call you to that level of understanding of getting past people, fear can't abide. Fear cannot abide. Only faith can abide. Are you hearing me? Now, I thank your sister why for saying that's right. Because many people don't understand. I don't get it why we can't teach these subjects, why we can't go back and refer to these subjects about living this life. To walk this holy Kodesh life, are you hearing me? You need to know how to do it. And it's only going to be found in the word of the living Yah. We need it. We need this. Let me go on down. So you have to do your best to stay away from the areas that cause fear. Watch what you're watching on TV. Watch the news. You can't watch that news all the time without being affected. You got to watch what they put out. They're going to put out some crazy stuff to come against your mind to make you run in and submit to what they want you to submit to. The Bible said we have power over all the power of the enemy. I'm going to repeat it. And nothing shall by any means what? Hurt us. You got power to stand. Are you hearing me? You got power to stand. Watch this. He says, there is no fear in love. Who is love? Yahuwah is love. Ain't no fear in Yahuwah. 
but perfect love cast out fear. What happened to the spies that went over? We be not able. We see the giants in the land. They got fearful. They got afraid. And fear caused them to turn around and bring back what? Not a faith report, but a bad report. And it caused many of y'all's people to not enter into the promised land. They died. Only 20 years old and under made it in. As they got older, and Joshua and Caleb, Joshua was Ephraim, and Caleb was of Judah. There it is right there. Joshua and Caleb, Ephraim and Judah. What does the Bible say? Ephraim represents Israel, Judah. Yah's people that came into captivity on the slave ships, they're going to become one as the awakening takes place. That's in Ezekiel 37 chapter, how we're going to become one to get ourselves back together. That's our problem. We had to get, get to the place that we can become one and encourage one another and build each other up. We need encouragement. We all we have in this land of our captivity. We have to stop fighting each other. Stop, stop being jealous over who's teaching who. That person teaching. I don't like the way he teaches. I don't like the way she's talking over here. I don't like that. No, no, no. Got to get past that stuff. That's baby stuff. That's that milk stage. You got to go on the strong meat. You got to get to the meat arena where you'll be able to stand. You'll be able to handle stuff that's coming. Some things, hear me, y'all, that I'm teaching tonight can only be discerned by the realm of the spirit. Some things are only by the realm of the spirit. Thank you, Sister Nivia Ali Yasharel, uh, uh, listening here tonight. I appreciate you. Sister Manuel Reynolds, thank you. Sister Kim Jai uh, Miller, thank you. I appreciate you guys being here. There's many more of the names are going by too fast. <laughs> I can't keep up with them right now. But hear me. But Yah's telling us tonight, don't allow fear to overwhelm you. I'm telling you, you can feel it. You can cut fear with a knife in the land. It's out here heavy. It's out here strong. You can feel that spirit of fear. But us as Yah's people, we don't have to carry and live or abide in that fear. Because why? He said, I gave you power. I gave you love. And I gave you what? A sound mind. Moderation. I gave you self-control. Uh, I gave you a sound mind. Self-control. I gave you strength to stand. We have to stand, y'all. We have to stand. Just like our ancestors did when they faced those giants, they had to stand. But many of them didn't. And they ended up losing out. Y'all expecting us to stand. Is it difficult? Sometimes it is. Can we make it through? Yes, we can. How? By depending and studying and leaning into Yahuwah's word. The Bible said the name of Yahuwah is a what? Strong tower. The righteous run into and is safe. Your safety is in Yahuwah's name. There's many times when the enemy try to overwhelm me with fear. Early in the morning, he'll try to attack you, wake you up out of your sleep. I don't start crying. I don't start going through. The first thing I do I said, I, I, when I gather myself, I get my Bible and go to Psalms 91. I read Psalms 91. I read Psalms 92. I read his word. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Are you hearing me? Hey, Sister Pinkney. So you have to understand that we need to run to y'all. Don't run to your trouble. Don't run to fear. That's how the lion, when it talks, there, there's a history about a lion. The way the lion get a lot of his prey is not because he chased him down. Sometimes he roars so loud that the enemy, the, 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 the prey runs out in the open. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They were in a safe hiding place. They were protected. Are you hearing me? Listen to what I'm saying. The, 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 the prey was protected. They were in a good burrow. They were in a good hole. They were under the uh, bush, and the lion couldn't find them. So he began to roar real loud, and it scares the prey out. The Bible said the enemy, as a roaring lion, seek, seek at whom he may devour. So he's roaring real loud, and he has many of y'all's people running out in the open without a cover and running out without a protection. And next thing you know, you become overwhelmed, overtaken by the enemy. Don't allow yourself to be overtaken. Rest in Yah. He's a mighty fortress. Rest in Yah. Hallelujah. So tonight, I just wanted to give that out to you. What Yah has given to me about stop being afraid. He said, watch out for watching too much of that television when they're promoting this stuff about the COVID-19, when they're promoting fear. 
They got so many people running in fear. They're afraid. Are you hearing me? Some stuff they're saying is so tormenting to many that they're losing their minds. The Bible says many people are going to be running to and fro in this land, afraid because of the things that are going to take place on this earth. Listen, y'all, we're in the end. We are at the very end where Yah is coming to rescue his people. You can look up. He's coming back in his chariot. He's coming back with his angels. He's coming back to get his people. The battle is not ours anyway. It's Yahuwah's battle. It's not your battle. So rest in Yah. Relax. Trust him with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. And leave that spirit of fear to the enemy. And you continue to walk by faith and not by sight. I love you all. Thank you for coming on. Shalom.